Welcome to another TOEFL listening practice video. In this video, you will listen to a lecture, answer some questions about it, review the correct answers and explanations. Channel members can download their worksheets in the community tab of the channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we'll take a detailed look at a system that's both fascinating and underappreciated, the lymphatic system. It's often overshadowed by the circulatory and nervous systems, but without it, the human body would collapse into chaos within days. The lymphatic system plays three essential roles, maintaining fluid balance, defending against disease, and facilitating the absorption of dietary fats. We'll examine its structure, core functions, clinical significance, and recent scientific discoveries that are reshaping our understanding of its importance. Anatomically, the lymphatic system is a vast network of capillaries, vessels, nodes, and organs. It runs parallel to the blood circulatory system, but with a key difference. Lymph flows in only one direction, from the body's tissues, back toward the heart. Tiny lymphatic capillaries in the spaces between cells collect excess fluid that leaks out of blood capillaries. This fluid, now called lymph, contains proteins, waste products, and sometimes pathogens. The lymph moves through progressively larger vessels that contain valves to prevent backflow, much like veins do. Along this route are lymph nodes, small, bean-shaped filters packed with immune cells. They're strategically located in clusters, such as in the neck, armpits, and groin, where infections are most likely to occur. The lymph finally returns to the bloodstream through two large ducts, the thoracic duct and the right lymphatic duct, which empty near the collarbones. The lymphatic system performs three vital tasks. The first is maintaining fluid balance. Every day, about 20 liters of plasma seep out of capillaries. The lymphatic system collects this fluid and returns it to circulation, preventing edema or tissue swelling. The second task is immune defense. Lymph nodes act as biological checkpoints. As lymph flows through them, Macrophages and lymphocytes identify and destroy harmful microorganisms. The spleen filters blood, while the thymus trains immature lymphocytes into T cells, the foot soldiers of adaptive immunity. The third function, which many people don't know about, involves fat absorption. In the digestive system, specialized lymphatic vessels called lacteals absorb fats and fat-soluble vitamins from the small intestine, transporting them as chyle, a milky fluid, into the bloodstream. Without this process, our bodies couldn't properly absorb essential nutrients like vitamins A, D, E, and K. When the lymphatic system malfunctions, the effects are visible and serious. Lymphedema results when lymph vessels are blocked or damaged, leading to fluid buildup and painful swelling, often after surgery or infection. The lymphatic system is also deeply involved in cancer metastasis. Because lymphatic vessels provide an open route throughout the body, malignant cells can travel to distant organs. That's why oncologists often remove nearby lymph nodes during tumor surgeries to check whether cancer has spread. Another clinical link is with autoimmune disorders. Abnormal lymphocyte activity can cause the body to mistakenly attack its own tissues, contributing to diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. Until recently, scientists believed the brain lacked lymphatic vessels, making it unique among organs. But in 2015, researchers identified meningeal lymphatic vessels, channels that help drain waste products from the brain and spinal cord. This finding challenges decades of medical teaching and has major implications for neurodegenerative diseases. Inefficient lymphatic clearance in the brain may contribute to conditions like Alzheimer's disease, where toxic proteins accumulate. The discovery is rewriting textbooks 
and opening new therapeutic possibilities, from improving waste removal in the brain to designing drugs that interact with this hidden system. In short, the lymphatic system is more than a passive drainage network. It's a dynamic, multifunctional system that maintains fluid equilibrium, powers immune defense, aids nutrient absorption, and now, as research shows, even helps keep the brain clean. Understanding this system not only provides insight into how our bodies stay in balance, but also how they fail when that balance breaks down. Next class, we'll explore how the immune and lymphatic systems coordinate during inflammation, the frontline response that protects us from infection. One, what is the main purpose of the lecture? Two, according to the professor, what is one major difference between the lymphatic and circulatory systems? Three, why does the professor discuss lacteals and chyle in the small intestine? Four, what can be inferred about the discovery of meningeal lymphatic vessels? Five, why do surgeons often remove lymph nodes during cancer treatment? Six, in the lecture, the term lymphedema most nearly means. <laughs> 